Are you ready? Why? Now listen, remember, I can't draw too good. Trick question. <laughs> it's not a ball graph. Watch. Is that a house? Building. Oh, that's a paper. What is that? It's a horrible drawing. Is that a person? Oh, it's an elevator. Let me ask you a question. Oh. These are these are four different size boxes, right? Inside the box is what I do. Let's imagine right in front it's of you. I've got one box, two, and there's four candles. Oh. Which candle? Oh. Which candle? Oh. Oh. Hey, listen, it's I the best candle that. I can do. That looks like a person trying to commit suicide <laughs> over the door. Yeah. It actually does. Yeah. It looks like like it it but let's stay focused. Now, here's, oh, here's, here's what gets tricky. If I put all four candles in a box, right? Yeah. And I close them at the same time, which candle is going to burn out the fastest? The smaller one. Smaller one. Smaller one. Smaller one. Why? Because there's five holes. Five holes. Five holes. Right. So I've got to be honest with you. I don't think that Mark Twain test stands a chance against you guys because that's a really tricky question. A lot of people would think that it was which one? The big one. But this box has a little little bit about the what? Oxygen. Now, if you take away the oxygen, can fire survive? No. no. Exactly. How would they think that the large box would make the fire burn out this? Because they think that the size of the box affects the uh, candle. But it does because this box having all this, what, what's the symbol for oxygen? Uh, O2. O2 has a lot of oxygen. This one has a little, you know, but this one is the smallest. Um, a, good, a good way, a good way, listen, a good way to figure it out is if, you have, if your mom and dad are around, there's another experiment that you can do with mom and dad, okay? Aww. They have these tall candles that look like this. Yeah. It's oh, a big no. glass thing and the candle's at the bottom. Oh, I know what that does. Okay, like a tea light. And then you, you have the little, then you have the little candle oh. that's like this. Oh. What you do is you ask your mom and dad to do an experiment. You take a dish and you put it on the big one. And you take a dish and you put it on the small one. You'll see, you'll time which one goes out faster. Now, the one who's so, in the big tube. Why would you want to put a dish on top of it? Because <laughs> when you put a dish on top of it, obviously, like a ceramic dish, it's safe. Melt. It's not going to melt. But once you put the dish on it, what are you doing? Well, you're, the the seal. Seal. you're cutting off the, you're sealing off the oxygen. Now, technically, the experiment would be to show which one is going to burn out faster and which one would. A oh. oh. small one. A small one. Yeah, what's up? What about those experiments where you have a display and then you put a candle in the middle and then you put water around and then you put a cup over the candle and then the water gets sucked up into the cup? Now how does it happen though? Um, oh, vacuum. Like the vacuum, all the water vacuum. all the air is used up so the water refills, takes the place of the air. Exactly. What, what about the temperature inside the glass? Isn't it hot? Yeah. yeah. So that causes the water to do what? Go up around. Evap Evaporate, right. So what's going to, what are you going to see on the side of the glass? Steam. 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 And you, and you fill the water up all the way to the brim, so it just reaches the holes. You close it, the lid on top, and you put a, those really small candles. You put a big cup over it, and then like when the air runs out, the water will start rising up. What I did, that's really cool, yeah. And that's what I mean. All I want you to know, and I want you to take away tonight from this particular exercise, is that the Mark Twain test has multiple types of questions. Also, yes. you have to understand something. You have to make sure that you stay sharp for the test. Okay, stay sharp. And you got to be careful for questions like these. This is really an easy question. But remember, what's one of the things that's working against you on the data test? Maps. Maps. No, no, what's working against you? Time. 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 So that day you're also going to have a lot of what on you? Pressure. Yes. Pressure. So time and pressure could cost you to make a mistake like Wait, that. Wait, we have like two hours.